What's up, Internet? I'm Austin Castro, and welcome to Psych2Go. So, every now and then you might hear some people describe themselves as an ENFP, ISTJ, ESTP, or R2D2, or ESPN. But what exactly does that mean? Well, it turns out that's all part of the 16 personality types from the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. Back in 1917, Catherine Cooks Briggs began her research into personality and later brought in her daughter Isabel Briggs Myers who added to it. Together they built off the work of Swiss psychiatrist and psychotherapist Carl Jung who proposed that there are four different dichotomies or categories that people fall into. That's where these different letters and acronyms come into play. The first category is your attitude, whether you're more of an extrovert or an introvert. There are several differences between the two types of people like the fact that extroverts tend to be more outgoing and social, while introverts tend to focus more on their inner thoughts. Additionally, extroverts typically get energy from spending time with other people, while introverts get energy from time alone. My cat Google here is clearly an introvert, while my dog Max is very much an extrovert. Now, of course, there are people like me who consider themselves ambiverts, who are a mix of extrovert and introvert qualities, but for the sake of the 16 personality type, we're just going to focus on the E and the I. So attitude makes up the first letter in the act acronym, and the second is based on the way you take in information. There are those who take in events exactly as they happen and the facts and details around it. This is known as sensing, or the S, in the personality types. On the opposite end would be intuition, or N, which means that you tend to pay more attention to interpreting information and reading between the lines. Sensing people will usually take in the facts first before forming a big picture, while intuition people will do the opposite and see the big picture first, then find out the facts. The third category is based on how you make decisions. Some people fall under thinking, or T, in which they carefully analyze the pros and cons in a situation and try to be impartial and fair. Meanwhile, there are those who fall under feeling, or F, who are more people-oriented and focus more on the values, interests, and emotions of those involved. The fourth and final pair is how you deal with your surroundings and structure. Would you rather have a more structured, scheduled life or be more flexible and adapt to whatever comes your way? Those who prefer to have everything planned out and everything decided have a judging preference, or J, in their personality type. On the the other end are those who are more spontaneous and respond to things as they happen. These are perceiving people, or P. So that's the meaning of each of the different letters in the personality types. Four different categories, each with a different pair of character traits, make up the 16 different possible combinations of acronyms and the 16 personality types. Now that you know what makes up the letters, you might be wondering what the personality types mean and how that affects everyday life. Well, each personality type is uniquely different. For example, INFPs are known as the mediators, who look for the smallest hint of good in everything and are idealists. ESFPs are known as the entertainer, who love the spotlight and are very energetic and sociable. Now, every type has both its pros and cons. INTJs, for example, are very determined, hardworking, and open-minded people, but can also be judgmental and over-analytical. There are different traits for each type when it comes to friendships, career paths, parenthood, work habits, and more. And I could go on and on about each personality and how they are in every area, but that would take a very, very long time. Hopefully, this video acts as an informative introduction to the 16 personality types and what the letters behind them mean. I remember finding out about all of this for the very first time and being so fascinated by it and if you are as well one of my favorite websites to go to is 16personalities.com their website provides a very in-depth analysis at each personality and their different characteristics also i really like the cute little characters they have on their website additionally over on my channel i did a video where i take the 16 personality test myself to find out what type of personality i have and see what it's like to take the test special thanks again to the awesome people at psych2go for having me and you can check out some of my crazy videos over on my channel by going to youtube.com slash austincastro1. That wraps up the video here, so thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and until then, I'll see you guys on the internet. Hopefully you guys really like this YouTube play button bow tie, because of course bow ties are cool, and I hope that by wearing this in combination with my glasses would make me seem somewhat smart. By heading to youtube.com slash austincastro. Ugh, I forgot to breathe there.